ठीक है हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्राम ओली यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज बेनेलक्स 2020 पी वन एब्रीविएटेड एज बी एक्स एम ओ so it states that we want to find all positive integers d with the following property there exists a polynomial p of degree d is integer coefficients such that the absolute value of p of m is 1 for at least d plus 1 different integers m right so essentially we want to find the sum of the number of roots of p of m plus 1 is equal to 0 and p of m minus 1 is equal to 0 start with the claim the claim is if p of x is q of x into r of x and p of and q are polynomials with integer coefficients that is how we represent this uh right then it follows that and then we also assume that q is monic then it follows that r is also a polynomial with integer coefficients so uh one way to prove this is uh, through the long division process so what we do is uh like how do you approach long division like let, let's talk about that so let's say let's say you want to find this uh then uh, how do you do this you start with x square you multiply x plus 1 into x square and write down x cube plus x square and then we get uh x square plus 3x plus 1 and then you can note that the degree here was 3 and the degree here is 2 right so we just kind of keep decreasing the degree and eventually we get a remainder or uh, yeah that's it so we did the same here basically uh we kept dividing we kept decreasing the degree at each point and since q of x is monic we'll always be multiplying q of x with something of the form k into xl right a k is also an integer and l is also an integer okay so that's the proof and otherwise you can also try to do it by induction i'll just leave it to you nothing special really so you now we we need to sum up the number of integer roots of p of m plus 1 is equal to 0 and p of m minus 1 is equal to 0 so now just for the sake of ease we def, uh, define q of m is equal to p of m plus 1 so we need to find the number of m satisfying q of m is equal to 0 and q of m is equal to 2 we will just sum up the number of m's satisfying each of these equations so uh let, let's say that a1 a2 al like a1 a2 so on al but all the distinct integer roots of q of m uh and let's say that a1 was repeated b1 times a2 was repeated b2 times so on and so forth and then let's just say that tm was something of like an irreducible polynomial then it follows that t of m is also a polynomial with integer coefficients why because uh because this, this is uh and in the, uh, this this polynomial has integer coefficients and this polynomial is monic so by our lemma this must also has integer coefficients right so let us say that uh, yeah so we were assuming that ai were all distinct so what happens if l is more than or equal to 4 so if m is more than or more than or equal to 4 then at least two of these values will be at least like if you find the absolute value of x ai example for example uh we only have uh, so first of all all the ai are distinct which means that none of these x minus a1 x minus a2 can be equal and then uh when we kind of get rid of one and minus one we are left with things like 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 so on so if l was more than or equal to 4 then the absolute value of qm now this the absolute value of this thing should be at least one right and then the absolute value of qm would become at least 4 uh right so therefore l has to be less than or equal to 3 now what if q has three distinct integer roots right so okay first of all let me let me make this clear q cannot q must have at least one integer uh, and that, and that is because if it does not then uh, note that we must have at least d plus 1 integers m so that q of m is equal to 2 if we were to, to satisfy the problem conditions but that that is not possible since the degree of q of m minus 2 is d okay so q has three distinct uh, three distinct integer roots so we should be able to find x so that so i am assuming that alpha beta and gamma are the roots of this q of x and i ordered them by size alpha more than beta more than gamma 
and then they did divide two because a note that this was an integer we have proven this before and yeah so this has to hold true and now we can just find out the the number of possibilities none of them can be equal they must be ordered you can check these are the only possibilities here and then note that alpha and beta and gamma are basically we assume they are fixed right so they cannot so like beta minus alpha should be uh, constant so what happens because of this is these two cases cannot hold together because if they did hold then alpha minus beta so what is minus 1 plus 2 that is x minus beta minus x plus alpha that is uh, that is alpha minus beta so if these two did hold together in that case alpha minus beta takes two different values 1 and 2 and this is the, the difference here is 1 the difference here is 2 which is obviously not possible therefore uh, we can only find at maximum we can find 1x so that x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma divides 2 and then three distinct integer roots so 3 plus 1 is more than or equal to t plus 1 or that 3 is more than or equal to d now the case 2 is if you had two distinct integer roots the same thing here so x minus alpha in times x minus beta divides 2 where alpha more than beta so now we just find the number of possible values of the factors you can check that yourself and again like the like the previous problem i mean the previous case alpha minus beta must be kept fixed which means that if a b is a valid pair then b minus a must be kept fixed and you can check that and you can check that b minus a here is 1 here is 3 here is 3 here is 1 here is 2 here is 4 so only these two can hold on hold together or these two can hold together a maximum of two cases so we can find a maximum of 2x so that uh, x minus alpha into x minus beta divides 2 or that uh, 4 is more than or equal to t plus 1 which implies that 3 is more than or equal to d now what what if there was there were only one integer root right in this case let's note that let's just say that q of x was something like uh, x minus alpha into what something called normal here then two so now we want to uh, then we can find at, at most four x, uh, x so that this thing holds because it could be two it could be one it could be minus one it could be minus two so four plus one five more than or equal to d plus one or that four is more than or equal to d now in fact d is equal to four fails because let's say that we were able to produce a quartic polynomial which satisfies the problem conditions it is only possible when q of x has like one integer root because of the previous case and then what we did was i defined l of x is equal to q of x minus two so now we can find four of its uh, so like whenever q of x was two l of x becomes zero so we can find l of x is equal to q of x minus two is equal to this thing here but now let's just note that when like let's just note that uh, we at least wanted one root from q of x as well right so q of x was assumed to have one integer one integer root which means that l of x for that value was zero right so whenever q of x was two l of x was zero so we need to find at least one x here uh, so that this is minus two right uh, uh yeah because like we had at least one x such so that q of x was 0 so l of x is q of x minus 2 that is minus 2 right so whenever q of x was 0 l of x was 0 minus 2 minus 2 okay so now we want to find x satisfying this but it is not possible like just like the first thing we discussed here uh this thing here because at least two of these factors will have absolute value at least two so this renders this whole thing impossible uh now we just need to uh, kind of uh, find the uh, the constructions so for d is equal to 1 x works that's pretty simple d is equal to 2 you can find as well uh, d is equal to 3 is a little harder to find but it's not hard once you get to do this step here so note that alpha minus beta like I, I just assume that these were the factors here so alpha minus beta is actually 1 and beta minus gamma is 2 so you can note here as well that uh, alpha minus beta here alpha and beta alpha minus beta is one and this is beta this is gamma right so beta minus gamma is two so we basically found a valid uh, thing for q of x but now we add, actually we want to report p of x right don't forget that so p of x uh, plus one 
was supposed to be q of x so if you want to report q of x you would have to report q of x minus 1 so i just sub i just subtracted the one there uh thank you